Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Okay, this video is uh, for all those who want to become Muslim, uh, but uh, something is holding them back or because of their family or because of the rules and regulations or because of there are so many restrictions out there. That's the reason they don't want to become Muslim. So I tell why not just leave this video out. Tell them the process of how to become Muslim and how easy it is to become Muslim. At the moment, I'm dealing with two atheists. I always say to them, let's say, because I believe there is hereafter. You guys believe there is no hereafter. For the sake of argument, just for the sake of argument, let's say there is no hereafter. You are saved, I'm saved too. But if what I am saying is right, what you will do? I'm still saved because I'm sending all the reward towards Akira. I'm saving everything like account, bank account. I'm saving everything for the next life. You're not doing anything. Who is in loss? I'm winning from this situation, either your situation or I'm winning from other situa situation as well. Now, if you say that, how do you know Quran is telling you right? Remember, science have proved that 80% of Quran is right. The rest of 20% he doesn't say right because science doesn't believe in hereafter. Moon's light is not its own light. It's a reflective light, reflection of sun's light. Science found out 200 years ago. Quran is Quran told us 1440 years ago. Science have proved that as well. This Quran is as old as 1400 years ago there are darkness upon darkness upon darkness in the sea quran says that science found only a few hundred years back when they got all the diving costume going in the sea and recently one of the diver became muslim he said muhammad never went on a sea journey never mind going inside the sea how he found out and he became muslim there are two seas one's water is sour one one's water is sweet and science just recently found out that yes there are two seas uh, one is water is sweet, one's water is sour, and they are not mixing. Go. Quran says that Pharaoh, Pharaoh, who will preserve Pharaoh's body until we want it. And look, Pharaoh died millions and millions of years ago. His body is still saved and is still preserved. Quran tells us the process of the baby in the womb of mother, step by step, everything. When science found out, science recently found out, and there is not just these are the few of the examples from Quran. Why I'm giving you all these examples that if Quran is telling you there is hereafter, then there is hereafter. Now, let's go to the process of Karima, how to become Muslim. First of all, let me tell you, becoming Muslim, you don't have to tell anyone. You don't have to, you know, many Muslims, they are drinking. Many Muslims, they don't cover themselves, girls, if they are girls. They're doing all sorts of things, right? But at least they are Muslim. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Quran, La tamutunna illa wa antu muslimun. Make sure you don't die as a non-Muslim, make sure you die as a Muslim because all the other sins I will forgive, but this is one sin I will never forgive. So at least become Muslim. You got the passport for Jannah, for heaven. At least you get that. You don't have to tell anyone you're living the life the way you are living. How silly that person would be that who is not buying a house just because he does not have money to buy a bed, who does not have money to buy a mattress. At least go and buy a house. You can concentrate all the other things later on in your life. At least become Muslim. You don't have to go and tell anyone. You don't have to come to me or go to anyone. Just read what I am going to read now. Just read that with the bottom of your heart. And believe in that and you become Muslim. Alcohol, Nimaz, Salah, covering yourself. You can do it slowly, slowly, gradually in your life. You can slowly, slowly do it. But at least if you die today, at least you have saved a place in Jannah for yourself. Now, let me give you the process of becoming Muslim, the method of becoming Muslim. Just read after me. I will go nice and slow. Read after me and then I will give you the translation. But you have to read after me. Ashhadu an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu. La Shari Kalahu Wa Ashhadu Anna Muhammadan Abduhu Wa Rasuluh. Now let me give you the translation of that. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah. He is alone. He has no partner. And I bear witness that Muhammad is the messenger and the servant of Allah, of God, of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's all you have to believe. And you have to believe that the Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no children, no other gods are there. That's all you have to believe. Just now you just become Muslim. If you have read it, then congratulations to you. And now slowly, slowly you can work on other things. At least you got the passport for Jannah. May Allah accept your this effort. Jazakallah.